G'day everybody, this is Mr. Ozzy Video 1985 here with a brand new video and a new segment a part of my channel is my fortnightly movies that I've watched. Now the reason why I decided to do to start this kind of um series of videos up is that I, th I think it'd be a lot easier for me to talk about several films, you know, three to four films in one week video rather than talking about do an individual reviews for every movie that I see. Some movies I will do still do individual reviews of mainly pop movies that I do go see at the cinema or movies that I want to talk about in one video. So basically um, every two weeks um, I'll be talking about movies that I've seen in those two weeks or maybe movies I've seen you know maybe a month ago that I haven't gone around doing a video about. But um, in this first official one video, I only have watched, got one Blu-ray, which is the three um, movies disc, and um, so two of on um, two Blu-rays and one movie that I've seen at the cinema. We'll talk about the one I go went to see in the cinema only probably about uh, a couple of weeks ago. It is the amazing, sorry, the amazing Spider-Man. I've seen that on. 20th of last month, and I had to say I enjoyed this film very much. Um, I like the previous three Spider-Man movies, and I, I enjoy this one as well. It's a very different make of like a re um, an origin story, would you say? Um, the only, as I said, my knowledge of Spider-Man is only from seeing the cartoon, cartoon animated series from the 90s so I don't know much about the comic books or anything like that but I enjoyed this film it was it was very good um very good of course it was a lot different from the th previous three um Spider-Man movies or different origin story and different scenes that you know that you had in the first film that you didn't have in this one you know, one of the biggest differences do you like the web the web shooters, you know, that was in the comic which was in the probably was in the comics as well, but it was in the um animated series. Because I always remember that, you know, he had this little thing that he used to always put in the thing, so that's what I remember about that. But I enjoyed this film. It wasn't amazing. I, I thought it was pretty good. I thought it was I, I enjoyed it. And um and stuff. Yeah, a bit of dark tone of the story as well and I've also been playing the um, Spider-Man, the Amazing Spider-Man game as well and I know why people say that it, it's set after the movie so yes, Amazing Spider-Man I enjoyed um, I think um, was the Peter Parker played by Anthony Young Garfield, Garfield? Um, and yeah, I thought it was a good Spider-Man, Peter Parker and all that, so yes, Spider-Man and a 5, I would give it 5 out of 5, very good movie, Four. amazing Spider-Man, um, one I just seen a couple of weeks, a week ago, that I got is, was the Poseidon Adventures, and of course this one stars Gene Hackman, and all the other ones up here, so, then, um, as I I I've seen um, the other one they did, um, it was called Poseidon, which was done back in two thousand and five or six. And yes, I, I enjoy this May, um, Poseidon Adventure story. The only thing then that what I well, I always remember watching this film, but I never remember watching it from the very very start. I always remember when you know the the boat capsizes and. The climbing up the Christmas tree and all that. Um, of course, there was another one they made after this, after this one, which is I think, be beyond or beneath or something. Avengers, I think that one stars um, Michael Caine in that one. But yes, a very good movie. Um, it's like a lot of story we all know. Everyone must have heard of Beside Avengers by now. But this rogue, they found. One of the most gripping disaster films of all time follows the ten survivors of their uh, struggle from an ocean line as capsized by a total a wave. Yeah, so yes, um, special features on this is you got commentary, you got Hollywood backstones, 
cast looks back more than enough of the story so yes and I think it was pretty good on Blu-ray as well I definitely Blu-ray the best way to see your favorite movies so yes. look inside there this plain old disc so yes beside it I'm just I'm hoping to get the other one on um the the sick sequel or the other one after soon so yes other ones like um seen recently just seen is Ice Age 1, 2 and 3 which comes with these little um, Sid and Scraff figurines um yeah so yeah, I'll show you the back of it as well very good movies it's hard to believe that the first one came out in 2002 and of course um, the fourth movie is that the cinemas now which I'm going to see soon um, and so, it, these films are fantastic um, the animated animation and all that great you know basically um, basically it's about this um, get ready for cool adventure animated with all time heading all times heading self for the, or with the bag case of frost by a group of uh, miscreant creatures embark on a legendary quest to restore a human baby um, with his tribe. That's in the first one. And the second one, you got tried to save, avoid a flood of terrible mid Sid, Dargo, and Scruff embark on their slide slipping adventures across the landscape and most meets L, a female um, woolly man who met, who melts, made his heart. Then in Iron Shades 3, your favourite sub zero heroes are back in for more thrills, more chills, and more mantic-sized fun. In this biggest adventure yet, the grand the game discovers a lost world of dinosaurs with Scruff going nuts over a beautiful um, squirrel, or whatever it is. So yes, three great films. Um, you know, just Ice Age 1. I say two and three. So three um, great films. As I said, I'm hopefully going to see the um, oops, the the other one too. So yes. So yes. So only not a lot of movies I've seen um, this month or the last few weeks. Um, of course, now the Olympic Games are on, and I've been watching that at night time because they're the night time in Australia. So yes, watch it at night time and get up and watch it early in the morning, so yes. So yeah, I hope you enjoy my first official um, month weekly fortnightly movies I've seen. Hopefully I'll see a few more movies in the next two weeks and review them for you. And yeah, if you like this um, kind of um, style of thing, please leave a comment underneath. I will still try to do individual reviews, probably the weeks, uh, four nights of that, two weeks of that don't. So next week, most likely I'll have a um, video up. Then, yeah, vice versa. So, uh, so I'm going to have to do two um, single movie reviews um, a, a month. Then I'll do, you know, maybe th maybe three video, maybe three movies I've seen, or, or four, maybe five, maybe ten, or maybe twenty. I'll just have to wait and see. So thank you for watching. If you like this video, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Have you seen these films? How did you like them? Please leave a comment underneath. And so yes, until my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Not forever. And I'll catch you next time. Ciao.